Hey, how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. So I know when I'm filming this one and I know when this one is going up. So this one is going up out of order. Um, <laughs> but I don't know what to talk about. So I'm just going to talk about the fact that today is 23rd, um, so the cute friend has started their journey to come down to Plymouth for Christmas, uh, which is very exciting, but on top of that I am also getting my uh, Covid booster vaccination today. <laughs> um, okay, so obviously I'm hoping most of you are aware of what the situation is. As of the time that I'm filming this, obviously in a few weeks from now, I'm hoping you to be even more aware. Um, but obviously the government has advised anybody who is now eligible um, for getting their booster to get their booster and they have extended. Who is eligible, by which I mean anybody who has had their second, um, inject, uh, second vaccination and is like plus three months from that should be looking to get their booster as and when they can um, and obviously I fall into that group because my booster, uh, my second vaccination was in August so I'm only like literally a couple of months off of getting my booster anyway uh, or like automatically even getting my booster anyway so initially I was going to get it done in January after everything because I was like oh it's just gonna be far too busy to, to, get, some, uh, to get it done today there's no one I'm gonna so I'd rather book it than just to turn up just because it just feels a bit more organised um, and like I booked my last two and you know it, it worked pretty well and everything went pretty smoothly with it um, so I was like oh yeah I'm, I'm not you know I'm not in any rush and then uh, yesterday <laughs> of all things um, I got my hey you're eligible for your booster text through from the NHS so I was like oh you know what I'll go on now whilst I'm thinking about it uh, see if I can get myself booked in, um, thinking that I would get like sometime in January and just have to sort of, you know, make sure that I booked it off with work if I needed to. Um, no, it had today available. And I was like, well, I'm about to have four days off. And I know from my previous two, I don't really get um, unwell with it. Uh, I just get like a really sore arm for a few days. And like having four days not at work with a sore arm seems better than having like four days in work with a sore arm. <laughs> so you know what, let's book in for today. <laughs> well, let, let's book in for tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I am now going to have my booster today, which is the 23rd. Um, I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I wasn't really affected with the previous two, like even with people saying, oh yeah, the second one is one that gets most people. Um, I didn't have any effect from that. So even though that I'm getting a lot of people going, oh yeah, but a lot of people are getting really affected by the booster. It's like, yeah, but if I've not really had any effect from the previous two, I'm unlikely to have too much of an effect from this one, probably just a sore arm again, which is what I'm used to. Um, so far, what I know is, any of the people that I know who were knocked for six when they had their initial vaccines are getting knocked for six when they get the booster. That I know for sure because, um, you know, I, I do speak to the people that <laughs> I do speak to the people that I care about. Um, and, you know, when, when they've let me know that they've just had their booster and, you know, whether or not it's knocked them out again. Usually it's the same people who got knocked out by the initial ones, uh, whereas the ones who weren't too badly affected are still not being that badly affected by the booster. So I'm fairly confident I'll be fine. Um, and even if I am feeling a little bit off, it won't be the first Christmas I've had where I've been feeling a little bit off. Um, back when I used to do the vouchering for my stool. <laughs> interesting history of my working for the fast food restaurant that I work for um so I spent two not the first two years so I spent about two years working in the store um and I got moved up to um, a training position and was they were sort of earmarking me for maybe moving up to management as well 
this was when my body started really rebelling against me, for want of a better word. Um, this was during the, the, the sort of phase where I was starting to get diagnosed with uh, high mobility and stuff like that. Um, so the then business manager thought the best solution was to send me out vouchering. I was out vouchering for two years, including in the wind and the rain, um, during the very cold wintry month. And um, the second Christmas that I was doing the vouchering, I didn't end up with a chest infection over the Christmas holiday. Um, and I think I ended up with like a mild chest infection the year before as well. Um, it really was not fun. Um, but I was still able to sort of get on and, and do things um, for the most part. Just like took it easy, but still sort of, yeah. Um, and also, you know, I quite often get a cold around this time of the year. I've lost count of the number of Christmas days where I've woken up with a sore throat. Um, so I'm not too worried about not being 100% if it does sort of have an effect on me. But at the same time, I wasn't affected by the other two um, vaccines. So I'm fairly confident I should be okay. Um, apart from my very sore arm. Um, and I don't know if it's because I'm particularly hardy. Uh, <laughs> I'd like, I, I, I don't know, I'd like to sort of like to think that, um, I sort of like to think that your reaction to the vaccine is like a milder version of what you might get if you actually got the proper thing without being vaccinated. Um, I don't know if that is how it works. Um, it might be how it works for some people. It might not be how it works for other people. Some people might find that they're more affected by the vaccine than they ever would have been if they actually got the, you know, without the, the full on COVID without the vaccine. Um, I really don't know how it works. Um, I do know that I'm fairly resilient um, when I do feel unwell. Um, I'm yeah, I, I like the expression, I'm fairly hardy, <laughs> even if it's not necessarily 100% the truth. Um, I definitely feel like I, you know, tend to weather through a lot of illnesses quite well. Um, I have no idea what I would be like if I actually got full on COVID. It might completely knock me out. Um, I mean, obviously, I'd have to take the time off sick regardless. Um, but yeah, as as it is, I'm I'm kind of like going, well, I'm I'm hoping me not being knocked out too much by the vaccines means that, you know, if I ever do get it, it would be a case of yeah, I'd be off sick, but I wouldn't be like completely unable to do stuff, um, sort of in and around the house. Like some people are just like laid up in bed, unable to move. <laughs> I'm I'm hoping. But I'm also hoping that I don't ever have to find out. You yeah, know, just in general, um, I don't really want to get the COVID, <laughs> any strain of it. Um, I would much rather just, you know, have, keep going without sort of picking it up. Um, but yeah, I, as I said, mostly this is about how I've reacted to the vaccines and I've reacted fairly well to the previous two vaccines. Um, I've not, you know, really noticed it the next couple of days. Um, so I'm expecting pretty much the same again. Um, obviously, when I film the next one, which will go up before this, <laughs> I may not mention it then. I may have to mention it like in two weeks from, from here to actually sort of clarify how I am. Because that's going to be horribly out of order and you're going to be very, very confused. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I want to sort of talk about on this one today. So this is being filmed with the cute friend in transit. <laughs> um, so just ahead of the cute friend's visit, I have my vaccination in about two and a half hours-ish um, from now. So plenty of time, like they're, they're, they're not due in until just after four, so plenty of time before they're due in. Um, it gives me something to do today because else I'm just sort of sat around waiting for the cute friend to arrive and it's not really what I want to be doing with the day. I'm one of those people I just hate waiting for things to happen, um, especially when it sort of like gets closer and closer. I'd rather feel like I, I'm doing something, I'm getting on with stuff, um, than just basically sat around waiting for something to happen. Um, 
But yeah, all right, okay. So I hope you found this one that's sort of interesting. I hope that I'm going to be right about me not being too badly affected by a booster. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to seeing my, uh, no, because the monthly roundup will be before this one. Hope you enjoyed the monthly roundup. I hope you're looking forward to whatever I'm talking about next time. And I will see you next time. See ya. If you've enjoyed this video, consider checking out some of my others, and if you like what you see, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching, see ya!